Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on Open Broadcast Studio. Uh, this is specifically how to configure the newer uh, methodology for live streaming to YouTube. So this is actually pretty cool. It lets you sync, or um, it lets you link your account with the program and it makes it much easier to manage your streams. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. I've installed the program on a clean installation of Windows. I'm using my MacBook Air. And I'm going to hit enter on the icon. And well, it's supposed to work. Let's see. Start window, desktop list, OBS. Let's try this again. OBS is already running dialog. OBS is already running. Desktop. Already running. Notification Chevron. Let's check the system chart. NVD OBS Studio button. Okay. NVD OBS. Whoops, and I forgot button. about that. NVD OBS Studio uh, button. Let's do. Notification Chev over NVD Boot Camp and OBS Studio button. What the hell? OBS 28.1.2, 64 bit, Windows, profile, OBS 6, full screen projector, hide, exit, start virtual camera. Start replay, start record, start streaming, full screen, full screen, hide, exit, OBS 28.1, next button, cancel, optimize for streaming. All right, so I'm not sure what that was. That was kind of weird. I had to open the context menu on the icon in the system tray. Now it looks like after I hit exit. OB OBS 28.1.2, 64-bit, Windows, profile, untitled scenes, untitled window, cancel button. All right, so you have this initial thing that comes up when you first install it. Optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary radio button checked. This is a quick way to get up and running. Next button. Uh, I'm going to hit next. Base, canvas, resolution combo box use current, 1440x900. That's, that's the resolution. I'm not going to worry about that. FPS combo box. And not going to worry about that. Back button. Next. next. Combo box twitch. Now it's asking me what you want to set up for. So let's down here to YouTube. YouTube RTMPS. That's good. Prefer hardware encoding checkbox checked hardware encoding eliminates most CPU usage, but may require more bitrate to obtain the same level of quality. I'm going to leave that checked. Estimate bitrate with bandwidth test may take a few minutes. Checkbox checked. Connect account. Recommended. Button. So this, um, you can do a bandwidth test. Let's go ahead and do that. Use stream key. Advanced. Button. Okay. If you want to use your key, this is how you would do it. This is the old method that I outlined. Connect account. Recommended. We're going to do this. User authorization dialog. Please complete the authorization in your external browser. Sign in Google accounts. Brave. Email or phone. Edit blank. So it, it opened up Brave and it wants me to sign into Google. So I will log in here. And forgot email. Next button. Next. Blank. Hi, Chris. Uh, password. We're going to type in the password. And show privacy. Paul. Next button. Next. Blank. Two-step verification to help keep your account safe. And that's the browser telling me it wants me to authenticate. I'm going to authenticate on my phone. And yes, the speaker on my phone is damaged, but just ignore that. So I'm going to hit yes Redirecting in the YouTube app. So I've signed into the browser. Which also means link terms. No next heading. Make sure you sign in with Google. Heading level one OBS Studio wants access to your Google account. Right. This page is asking if I if I can if I want to give OBS access to my account. I'm going to hit allow. OBS Studio cancel button. Continue button. Or continue. No next blank. OBS Studio graphic OBS authorization completed successfully. You can now close this page. It says it was completed successfully. I'll close the browser. OBS, and OBS, next button. Cancel, back button. Disconnect account button. Estimate bitrate. Back, next button. Next. It's going to run some tests. And we should be good to go. Let's see. OBS, OBS 28.1.2, 64-bit, Windows, profile, un cancel button, back button, cancel button. Progress bar 100, testing bandwidth 4, backup YouTube ingest server. So if I use NVDA object navigation, it's telling me it's doing some tests. I'll just wait. 
back apply cancel back apply settings button it says so at some point you'll get this button and if i read with object navigation back button system collapse apply well, setting the program has determined that these estimated settings are ideal for you can back apply so we hit apply bs 28.1.2 and here we go so now obs I have to alt tab because sometimes it may hit escape. Sometimes this program has weird issues with screen readers. It's not perfect. O OBS 28.1.2, 64-bit, Windows, Profile, Untitled Scenes, Untitled Window, Chat Window. I'm going to alt F4. Closing dockable window dialog. You just closed a dockable window. If you'd like to show it again, use the docs menu on the menu bar. Okay, but OBS 28.1.2, 64-bit. Now, now that that's set up. Audio mixer window. I can shift Scenes tab. Enable audio mixer. Enable preview button. Volume sl properties. For mute mic slash auxiliary checkbox not checked. That's the microphone. Volume sl properties for mic. Controls window. Exit button. Or actually find a tab volume, here. Mute property. Volume sl mute desktop audio checkbox not. Enable preview button. Scenes window. Audio if mixer, I keep tabbing. Scene trans duration, add conf controls, manage broadcast, start re start streaming checkbox not checked. Okay, this is how you would live stream. Manage broadcast checkbox not checked. This is the manage broadcast section. If I hit the space bar here. Gaming. YouTube broadcast setup channel. Cancel button. Create new broadcast tab control. There's a tab bar here. Select existing broadcast tab. You can either make a new one or you can choose an existing one. Grouping. If I tab, cancel button, grouping, no object, select existing broadcast tab control, cancel button, open YouTube studio button, thumb control, no next, can, I'm no using previous, object navigation, cancel, grouping, select, yeah, this is not, open YouTube studio button, select existing broadcast tab control, open YouTube studio button, cancel button, open, you oh, open YouTube studio, I think this opens it in your browser. YouTube Creator Studio Brave. YouTube. Yes, it does. Okay. So. Cl can close all button. Channel yes, I want to close tabs. There we OBS. Go. Select. Ex open YouTube Studio. Cancel button. Select. Ex so the easiest thing. Create new broadcast tab. Is to create a new broadcast. Grouping. Title star edit selected my broadcast. Let's we'll call this test. Description edit blank. Test. So there's the title, the description. Privacy star combo box public. You can set the privacy. Unlisted. Private. Unpublic. I'll just leave it at public. Category combo box gaming. You can choose the category. People and blogs. Comedy. Entertainment. News and politics. How to and style. Education. Film and animation. So if I go to the top, you've got that. Autos and vehicles. Music. Pets and animals. Sports. Travel and events. Gaming. You just choose the category. So usually if I go live, I do. People and blogs. People in blogs. No, it's not made for kids. Radio button not checked. I check that because I think if it's made for kids, it blocks a lot of features on YouTube. Select file button. This is for a picture file. Graphic thumbnail. Yes, it's thumbnail. Yes, if I use object navigation, yeah, that's for a Graphic. thumbnail file. No file selected. Schedule for later checkbox not checked. Select file. You can schedule it. Schedule for later checkbox checked. If I check this. 360 video checkbox not checked. Enable auto start checkbox not checked. Enable auto stop checkbox not checked. Spin button 11 slash 6 slash 22 120 p.m. 6 selected. 22 selected. 6 unselected. 1 selected. 22 unselected. 20 selected. p.m. selected. Enable DVR checkbox checked. Uh, yeah, this lets you set the date and time. I don't know how how well this actually works. 11, en enable auto start. 300. Schedule for later check. Not check. 300. Enable DVR checkbox checked. Um, DVR, I recommend keeping this on so that people can fast forward and re rewind the stream if they need to. Latency combo box normal. Leave all this stuff at the default. Remember these settings checkbox not checked. Check. If you want to re remember Cancel them, button. create broadcast button. Create broadcast. Create broadcast and start streaming button. I can create the broadcast, or I can create the broadcast and start streaming. Create new broadcast tab control. Create cancel button. I'm gonna cancel out of here. OBS two eight. So that's basically how you do it, and then uh, when you start to stream, it will take the options that you give it, and it will start a new stream on your account, which is pretty darn cool. Now, if you already have 
this installed, well, let me pause the recording and find out real quick because I honestly don't know how to do this. I will be right back. Okay, I think I, f I think I know how to do this. So if you go into the s settings, stream, and you go to stream, combo box YouTube RTMPS combo box primary YouTube connect account recommended button. Uh, the last time I went in here, there was an option to disconnect my account. I did that, and now if I hit connect account. YouTube user authorization dialog. Please complete the authorization in Untitled Brave. Untitled Brave. Sign in Google Accounts Brave. Heading level one. Choose an account to continue to. Button OBS. Link Chris Wright. Link Christ. Link. All right, so I'm gonna choose Blank. my account. Sign in Google. Heading level one. OBS. OBS. Cancel. Continue button. Hit continue. Blank. OBS Studio. Authorization completed. The authorization completed. Dialog. Close all tabs. Close right. OBS Studio document. Authorization completed. O OK button focused. Ignore streaming service. OK. Disconnect account button. OK. OBS. Right, so that's how you link the account. If I shift tab here. Pain. O OBS two eight. Chat window. It opens that chat window. I'm going to Alt F four. Closing dockable. OBS. Hit OK. Exit button. Audio mixer window. Control and if setting. I Studio configure. Start virtual. Start manage broadcast checkbox not checked. And yep. And here we are back in OBS. Start scene transition. Control manage. Start record. Start stream. Uh, so that's about it. Desktop. Uh, I guess that is a new feature in version 28 of the program. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Uh, I've pretty much shown you all that I know what to do with this program. So yeah, you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments. And I will try to get back to you. Take care.